Did you know that according to the Smithsonian Institution, the Nintendo Entertainment System came out in 1985? You do now. Now, the reason I'm going to talk to you about why Nintendo is a thing and why it's prevalent to me is because I've always grown up with Nintendo systems. I've played the Nintendo 64, the Wii, the Wii U, and the Nintendo Switch. And those were all gaming systems that I really enjoyed. So first I will talk about when Nintendo first started. Then I will talk about all of the games and consoles Nintendo has made. Then I will talk about the impact Nintendo has had on people and their families all included into one. First, um, Nintendo was first started like a lot of great things in the 80s. According to the Smithsonian Institution, Nintendo's first technical system was called Famicom, and it was released in 1983 in Japan exclusively. According to the Wikipedia article, Nintendo video game consoles. Also according to the Smithsonian Institute, this system includes a control deck, an AC adapter, an AV cable to attach to a television, an RF switch, a cable to attach to a television, and there are also standard controllers as well as an orange and gray plastic pistol with a cable that serves as a zapper controller. The components are described in an instruction booklet titled The Control Deck. Now, another great reason it was amazing that Nintendo began making systems was the fact that video games were losing their hold on society in the early 80s. Nintendo was the reason that the crash, the video game crash of 1983 ended because up until that point, video games were gone because the biggest video game was like Pong. Nintendo systems have varied a lot from handheld and console. Their first system was the Nintendo Entertainment System, and it was a basic box with like the controllers and the zapper controller. Then they came out with the Game Boy, and that was a handheld co console that included like very popular games like Mario, um, Crash Bandicoot, and one of the first Mario Karts. Super Nintendo Entertainment System was like the first system, just an upgraded version, and it had more games. Then there was the Nintendo 64, which had a lot of great games like Star Fox 64, Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64, and a lot of the games were like, yeah, based on like the fact that it was the Nintendo 64, so all the games would be something 64. Then there was the GameCube, which was a very strange system because it was like literally a cube and most of them were blue. Then there was the Game Boy Advance, which was the handheld Game Boy, but an advanced version. Then there was the Nintendo DS and the 3DS and the 2DS, which was just another handheld. And it was like a Game Boy, except the bottom part, the bottom screen was usually a touch screen. So you could like touch it and play games like with two screens. Then there was the Wii. And the Wii was my first system that I ever, like, would, could, like, label as mine. Um, I would always play it, um, like, with my cousins, with my brothers, with my mom. Um, I always really enjoyed the Wii, and it had, like, um, motion controllers, which was, like, crazy for the time that it was coming out of, like, Bluetooth control, not really Bluetooth, but, like, connectivity controllers that you didn't have to plug in to play video games with, so that was pretty cool. Um, then the Wii U came out, which was basically Wii games, but you could have a touch screen in front of you that could also play the games. And that was right before the Nintendo Switch came out, which is a revolutionary system in the fact that you can use it as a console and you can take it out and use it as a like touch screen handheld console. Now, lastly, we can take a look at some of the impacts Nintendo gaming has had on people and their families. For me personally, I've always played like Nintendo systems with my family, specifically the Wii, because like at Christmas, a lot of the years there's always like, we're always playing like basketball on the Wii, we're always playing like Wii Sports, everything, it's very fun. So starting with psychological facts, according to Psychology Today, when people were asked to elaborate on nostalgic video game memories, they often mentioned family and close friends, even when they were prompted not to do so. This can solidify my point that video games can bring people together in many ways and can even make a family a stronger unit. Just like how when I would play with my family, specifically like my mom, 
I would always play um, Donkey Kong with her on the Wii, and that would always be like our little bonding experience because I always wanted my mom to be Donkey Kong so I could be Diddy Kong because I love being Diddy Kong. And um, I first got into like video game sports in like a way because my dad would play this game called Disa Sports with me, and we would always play tennis, and I would always he would always let me win, obviously, but <laughs> it was always like really fun, and I got really close with my parents because of it. So today we have learned the many things about how Nintendo has had an impact on people and society in a whole. First, we talked about when Nintendo was first started and some of the first systems. Then we talked about how Nintendo has grown and how many systems they have made. Then we talked about the impact that Nintendo has had and left on people and their families. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the company that basically raised me as much as I did and to always remember that most great things started in the 80s.